as told by Ginger, is awesome. The show aired on Nickelodeon from 2000 to 2006 and was created by Emily Kapnek. The show was produced by Klasky Chuper. The show is set in the fictional town of Sheltered Shrubs and revolves around the life of the junior high student Ginger Foutley. The series is known for its realistic and poignant portrayal of adolescence, distinguishing itself from the other animated shows of its time with its focus on character growth and continuity. The series delves into the everyday challenges and experiences of middle school students. Central themes include friendship, family dynamics, peer pressure, self-identity and the journey of growing up. Ginger, the protagonist, often finds herself navigating complex social scenarios and personal dilemmas, which she reflects upon in her diary. These reflections serve as a narrative device that provides deeper insight into her thoughts and emotions. Each episode of As Told by Ginger addresses a specific issue or event from dealing with popularity and body image to handling divorce and first loves. The show's writers approach these topics with sensitivity and realism, making the stories relatable to its audience. This nuanced storytelling, combined with serialised format, allows characters to develop and evolve over time, creating a richer and more engaging viewing experience. Also the fact that they wore different clothes in each episode I found really really cool for some reason. Now, like I said, as told by Ginger dives into specific issues that we all face, and one episode I'd like to talk about today is Fast Reputation. An episode which dives into rumours and bullying throughout. I really do like this episode, but it's also pretty difficult to watch, especially if you feel bad for Ginger. So if you're interested, stay tuned as we dive into how As Told by Ginger deals with bullying. The episode starts with Ginger, Dirty and Macy outside and they're walking towards a school assembly with several other students. Before they enter the building, Mipsy cuts in line in front of Ginger and comments on Ginger is so nice for letting her get in first. The trio enters the building after her but the teacher says that all the seats are taken so they have to stand at the back instead. Mipsy takes her seat next to Miranda and Courtney and in the back, she maliciously points out that nice girls finish last, causing Miranda to laugh along with her. Looks like nice girls finish last! <laughs> <laughs> this episode already annoys me from the get-go, the fact that Mipsy pushed in line and then mocks Ginger for being nice. Like, why is that an issue at all? At the front stage, Principal Milty starts the assembly and reveals that the last several weeks some junior high students were found hanging around the wall. The students are allowed near the wall since it's part of the high school. Milty then warns them that if any more students are caught in the area of the wall they might be suspended. Hearing this, Miranda then makes a sake comment at Ginger saying that she should hang around the wall so she didn't have to see her anymore. <laughs> you on the planet. Courtney then responds saying that Ginger would never do such a thing since Ginger is a nice girl. We then see Ginger in gym class with her friends running on a track course outside. The wall is situated right next to the course and shows several high school students hanging out giving off a cool attitude. Ginger wonders at Courtney's words earlier about her being a nice girl. She along with Dodie and Macy realise that there's a hidden meaning behind it implying that Ginger is uncool, dorky and just a general loser. Halting at the fence separating the junior high from the high school, Ginger looks at the wall and notices an older guy leaning against it. Dirty identifies him as Jake, a cool 10th grader, and when Ginger almost seems bitter that someone like Jake would never talk to a nice girl like her, Dirty teases her for her possible interest in the high schooler. Ginger plays along and says she can be like a leaning girls who are currently talking to Jake. The conversation is then cut short by Mrs Powell, the gym teacher, before they leave. Ginger plays with the idea of hanging around at the wall. The idea of going near the wall becomes the main topic amongst the friends. The next day, Dodie tells Ginger that thinking about it and actually doing it are completely different things, while Macy has had it with the subject and just tells them to give up. She worries about getting into trouble and damaging their reputation, 
but Jinji reminds her that their reputation might already be damaged since they're being called nice girls and being picked on for it. When Macy then reminds both Jinji and Dirty about the threat of suspension, Jinji falters, especially with Macy also reminding her that she had a brushing with the law in the episode Ginger the Juvie. She says that she's already proven she's not just a nice girl, but Dirty however claims that everyone has forgotten about that already. She suggests a compromise. Instead of hanging at the wall, they could just walk past it. Ginger however can't make it because she has to go to a dental appointment. At the dentist, Ginger is in the waiting room, killing her time, when suddenly Jake and his friend Sean enter. They don't notice her and they talk about an upcoming high school party at Lexi's house when her parents are not home. The dentist comes in and embarrasses Ginger by referencing her picture hanging up, proclaiming that she has the cleanest mouth of the month. The smirks on the boys' faces indicate that they heard it as well. Later at home, Ginger bemoans her bad luck and the humiliating image it presented to Jake. She also mentioned Lexi's party and Dirty immediately sees an opportunity for Ginger to reinvent herself. She suggests crashing the party and Ginger is very excited by that idea. Macy has her concerns but they're all put aside by both Dirty and Ginger. It's Wednesday night and Lexi's party is in full swing. When Ginger, Dirty and Macy arrive they pretend to be 9th graders and manoeuvre their way through the crowd. The party overwhelms them and Dirty suggests that they should just stay at the snack table so they won't be required to dance or talk to anybody if they don't want to. The night drags on, neither of the three move from their position and Ginger is disappointed as she hasn't seen Jake yet. They plan on leaving but at the last minute Macy makes everybody check for their house keys. Ginger then realises that her keys are missing and heads back to the party to find them. She returns to the snack table and ends up crawling underneath the table and she bumps into somebody which turns out to be Jake. Jake recognises her from the dental office and calls her clean mouth of the month before asking her what is she doing under the snack table. Ginger explains that she lost her keys so she's looking for them. They lean closer towards each other but Ginger backs out at the last moment and turns to leave. Before she does however, Jake asks her her name which Ginger quickly shares and gets out of there. Back with her friends, Ginger mentions that she bumped into Jake. Dirty wants a full scoop but Ginger says nothing happened, he was cool and she just freaked out. We see that Carl and Hudsey have opened a food stand next to the school that is steadily growing. It's attracting students outside the elementary school. Courtney and Miranda approach the cart as well as Jake. Miranda notices Jake himself lining up at the stand to buy food. They walk up to him to inquire about Ginger. Jake confirms that he knows her and he refers to her as Clean Mouth, which confuses both Courtney and Miranda with the implication. Now Jake explains pretty much what happened and the girls just completely take everything out of context and decide to spread rumours that Ginger made out at the party and Miranda can't wait to spread the false rumour. At lunch, Dirty tells Ginger that she now has a reputation. Mipsy strolls by and addresses Ginger, referring to her as the bad girl. Ginger is shocked at her turn but both Dirty and Macy remind her that not long ago she was upset for being called a nice girl. Soon the entire school knows about the rumours and it follows Ginger everywhere. Even in the toilets where she has to run to hide, there is just a bunch of graffiti everywhere stating that she's in a relationship with Jake or that they made out. Like that is so evil, there's literally graffiti everywhere just rubbing in this fake rumour, like I feel so bad for Ginger here. The next day Ginger tells her mum about her reluctance to go to school because everyone will talk about her. She wonders what she is supposed to say to them and Carl answers saying rubber glue back to you. Lois is impressed by his smart comment and advises exactly that approach to Ginger. Ginger is doubtful at first but Lois ensures her that she doesn't have to explain anything to anyone and just let them think what they want to think. At least one day later, at the school, Ginger, Dirty and Macy are talking about Carl's misfortune and Ginger jokes that ruined reputation must run in her family. Ginger also realises that while she may have wanted to get rid of her nice girl image, she didn't want to be known as the girl who made out with all the boys under the picnic table. Courtney and Miranda then pass by the table and Courtney turns her attention to Ginger telling her how relieved she is that the rumours about her and Jake have calmed down at last. She then apologises for any part she played in spreading the rumours and is glad that she herself is in the limelight again. 
Junji says that she's glad too, as she didn't even recognise herself for a moment, and she's glad that she's back to the way she was originally, to end this episode. This episode is really interesting, it dives into a really kind of unusual topic for Nickelodeon. The fact that Ginger was picked on so much for being the way she was, that she was going above and beyond to be different, only then to be mocked even more, it's really sad. Ginger has a really nice and friendly personality, and she's very comfortable in her own skin. So the fact that other people's words can push her to try and change herself into something that she could never be, just really irritates me that they would do that to her. The graffiti scene was extremely hard to watch in my opinion. The fact that people would do that to Ginger and write all of that on the wall just to make everything worse and spread a false rumour, which they know was false. Like, the two girls interpreted it exactly the way they wanted to hear it, which was not the truth, obviously. Ginger's mum, Lois, is super kind in this episode. The way she says that let people say what they like because you don't have to explain anything to anybody, which is so true. Nobody has to do anything that they don't want to. I wish we would have got a little bit more of comeuppance to the two girls for bullying Ginger, but we have to stick with what we've got. <laughs> This episode is one of my favourites of the show. I feel like it really dives into complex topics, like the show is known for. But what did you guys think of this episode? I feel like they did a great job explaining bullying, and especially Lois. She really nailed it by just saying that you don't have to explain anything, and that bullies are pretty much beneath us because they're bullies. Like, it doesn't matter what they think. They're like pretty much low lives for even going there in the first place. They did a really good job with this episode, and I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. More videos on the way so stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.